Good morning guys. It's a little past six and I thought I'd show you a typical weekday aboard the boat. Now I don't have a lot of time for dilly dallying around in the morning so we better get going. The first step is to get dressed but I think I'm gonna spare you the graphical nature of that one. Next up is to take Jökul for a walk. Before doing that I'm gonna bring him with me up to the facilities to brush my teeth and splash a little bit of water in my face. I shower in the evening in order to save time in the morning, but you'll see as we uh, get to the end of this day. Also, there's a lot of other fun-packed activities such as cleaning up down below and uh, doing laundry, so uh, <laughs> stay tuned. This being a communal bathroom, I kind of prefer to clean the sink after I'm done. That way it's nice for the next guy. Look who's talking to the camera out in public like a real vlogger. Those of you who have been following my channel for a while are probably gonna get that reference. Now I've been walking Jökul for, well, close to half an hour now. And every morning I tend to walk him for about an hour. Now that is actually more than he needs, but we both enjoy it. At the same time, it's also the reason I don't have much time for dilly-dallying around in the morning. Before heading to work, Jökul needs his breakfast, and I also need to shut off the reflex stove. I use a small ceramic heater to keep the temperature above 13 degrees while I'm at work. Okay, now comes my least favorite part of the day, leaving Jökul alone aboard the boat. Now he is gonna bark when I leave, but he's gonna stop within a few minutes. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this on camera, but he has already stopped barking and uh, I'm not even off the dock yet. Oof, I better take care of that while I still have some car left. <laughs> Driving from the boat to work takes about an hour, and sadly it's not the most scenic of routes. There are some small villages and some farms, but not really anything too interesting. Come springtime, there is a nice patch of heathland that I think I want to show you guys. But right now it's still winter, it's very grey and foggy outside, so I think we're just gonna skip it for today. Oh, and I hope you'll be able to hear what I'm saying over the noise inside of the car. I left my small lavalier mic down in the boat and I didn't want to disturb Jökul by going back down below. The drive to work ended up taking a little bit over an hour, but that was because I got stuck behind some farm equipment. I guess that's to be expected when you live in a rural area. So I know not a lot of my team members are going to be here today, but uh, let's have a peek. Hey, Go on. It is only one o'clock, so it is a bit early to be leaving work, but I noticed that both of the cameras I've put up down below have stopped responding. I'm sure Jökul is fine, but I am kind of anxious to get back there and figure out what's wrong. Also, I didn't have any meetings planned for the rest of the day, so I think I might as well head back to the boat and then finish up there. I guess the issue with the cameras weren't too serious. The boat is still floating at least.
Hi, Bessie. I can't be sure, but I think what caused the cameras to become unavailable was simply just that the internet connection went down. Normally when returning home from uh, work, my first order of business would be to take Jürgen for a walk. But considering he hasn't been alone aboard the boat for that many hours, I think I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning first and uh, just let him uh, sort of explore out in the cockpit. I'm finally done with the work I brought home with me, so I want to take advantage of the nice weather outside to take Jokul for a long walk. But I've got some laundry to take care of. And one of the annoying things about living aboard a boat is that you have to leave the boat whenever you want to do laundry, take a shower, and stuff like that. So to make life a little bit easier, I like to do as much as I possibly can while I'm at shore. So I'm going to bring Jokul with me now, but before we head out on our long walk, we'll swing by the laundry mat. I've also brought two water bottles along with me to refill. It's been about an hour and a half and uh, my laundry is done, so I'm here to transfer it to the dryer, but also to grab a shower. It's amazing how good a shower can make you feel. I'm not going to bother cooking anything tonight. Instead I'm just gonna settle for a quick bite and then I'm gonna use the uh, little bit of extra time to get caught up on some of the emails and messages from you guys. As I hope you can tell from this video, living aboard a boat isn't all that much different from living in a house. Sure, there are some minor inconveniences, but I do really consider them minor. Tomorrow I plan on shooting a new video in the ham radio series and maybe even a new update video. We'll see. Okay guys, that's it for this video. See you! Good morning guys. The evening, because I want to save as much... Because of... <sighs> in a rural area. Whew. God damn it. Talking while going up to the uh, third floor isn't uh, <laughs> isn't my cup of tea, apparently. Jukul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.